Our very special guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Ang Chi Meng, Minister, Prime Minister's Office, Advisor to Pasiris Pungol GROs and MP, Pasiris Pungol GRC. Welcome to the Smart Auditorium of the GIIA Smart Campus. The auditorium is equipped with state-of-the-art facilities to ensure seamless and mesmerizing audiovisual performance for the audience. For the benefit of all, we request you to ensure that your mobile phone is either on silent mode or switched off. We also request you to follow these instructions in case of emergency. Please locate the closest emergency exit as indicated in the map. Exit A, B and E are designated for immediate evacuation. They can be seen on your left and on your right. Exit C and D are located at the back of the seating area. Two exits are located on either side of the backstage and are dedicated to backstage crowd. In the event of an evacuation, stay calm and exit safely. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. Enjoy the show. A very good morning to all. We welcome our guest of honor, Mr. Ang Chi Meng, Minister, the Prime Minister's Office, Advisor to Pasiris Pungol GROs, and MP, Pasiris Pungol GRC on the official launch of the smart campus of Global Indian International School. Also, a warm welcome to His Excellency, Mr. Javed Ashraf, High Commissioner of India to Singapore, Mr. Ko Jue Meng, Chairman, Pungol North CC, Pungol Grassroots Leaders, respected dignitaries, board members of the Global Schools Foundation, invited guests, parents, students, and GIIS staff. This is a wonderful occasion for GIIS. It is a day we officially launch our flagship smart campus at Pungol. This campus is a dream of our chairman, 
Mr. Atul Temonikar, and has been ideated by teachers and staff members into a design which was translated and ultimately transformed into a state-of-the-art international school, which is a class apart. For us students, the huge premises, the digital classrooms, learning commons, student innovation rooms, data analytics in sports, facial recognition for security, and more than 40 studios to enhance our skills are facilities that are benefiting us day in and day out on our journey to make us capable global citizens. Today, as we officially open this campus, let's take a look at the stupendous facilities we enjoy as students here. Welcome to GIIS Smart Campus, a hub for the 21st century learning. In designing our classrooms, we looked at some of the leading universities and teaching practices around the world. Combining comfortable, adaptive spaces with the latest technologies available. spaces adapt to our needs. Smaller classrooms for focused groups, expanding within minutes to accommodate larger groups for lectures and exams. In addition to ensuring maximum daylight and ergonomic furniture for healthy learning, our classrooms are fitted with state-of-the-art audio and visual systems. Every classroom is acoustically enhanced with audio systems to ensure that clear sound is heard by every student. Teachers can move freely within the class thanks to cordless microphones. To complement the traditional whiteboards, every classroom has two 65-inch TV screens, which double up as touchscreen smart boards. Learning is enhanced through video, air-dropping documents and showcasing projects. With every teacher using an iPad Pro and students in selected classes using iPads, there is an opportunity to share and collaborate in real time. Immediate feedback can be given and the teacher can ascertain if students have a clear understanding before moving on to the next section. Our virtual classrooms will provide a platform for students and teachers to expand their learning beyond the classroom connecting them with leading educators around the world, sharing, collaborating, and creating a global network of knowledge sharing. Truly, a classroom without walls. With such a school, we are sure to develop into meritorious students, which is why we are also proud to be part of the Singapore story, where meritocracy is appreciated and duly rewarded. Apart from its reputation as a meritorious society, Singapore is also a melting point of many ethnicities, the dominant among them being the Chinese, Malay, and Indians. History is witness to the intermingling of these cultures, of which the most prominent byproduct is the uniquely Singaporean Paranakan culture. The beauty and the richness of the Paranakan culture is spread all throughout the Republic and can be experienced through their cuisine, their clothes, and their architecture. In fact, GIIS has also been inspired by this culture. The primary wing of our campus is called the Paranakan block, while the secondary wing is the Straits block. Ladies and gentlemen, our first dance performance of the day is a tribute to this heartwarming Puranakan culture.
What a fantastic performance. Thank you, friends. This performance is truly a showcase of the immense diversity and cultural wealth of Singapore. This red dot is also home to people of different hues. The Chinese, the Malays, the Indians, and many others who love the local food, enjoy the beautiful green spaces, speak Singlish, and we have merged into a single identity, the Singapore identity. Our next performance is a celebration of this identity. It is a tribute to the very essence of Singapore and a celebration of who we are. Tell me, 
friends. We are proud to be a part of the Singapore society that offers not only a richness of culture, but also a wealth of opportunity for the initiated. GIIS aligns to this thought process well and constantly does its bit to encourage respect and learning among all cultures. The school also nurtures elements that contribute to the peace harmony, and security of Singapore. Our contribution to the national service is one such initiative. To hear more, we welcome on stage two GIIS alumni to talk about this initiative, which encourages students to be an integral part of the Singapore story. Please welcome on stage Paras Bhatt and Siddharth Reji. Good morning, everyone. I'm Siddharth Reji. And I'm Paras Bhatt. And we're really happy to be back here in Global Indian International School. So many familiar faces. Uh, very nice to be here. We are to here today to talk about a very special and important journey that the majority of the men here will be going through after they graduate from school, and that is national service. As permanent residents, it was our duty to serve two years of national service. This was not only a journey in mental and physical fitness, but also one in self-discovery and character building. And I'm proud to say that these two years had some of the best times in our lives. That is right. Um, these two years really do prepare you for life in Singapore with your fellow brothers and sisters out there. For instance, um, Mr. Ng Ching Meng, uh, I actually recognize you. I was in the change of command parade in 2015 when you handed over to Perry Lim. So, Yes, uh, we will, in the national service journey, you will go through hardships, in both mentally and physically, but they prepare you for the real world, and that's something you can take away. So now let us take a look at the pre-NS journey that our students will take uh, in order to pretend them, uh, pre prepare them for their nation-building contribution. National service is an integral part of every PR's and citizen's journey into manhood. Uh, so at GIS, we prepare our children proactively so that they are ready for their IPPT. I'm Mark Rush. I'm currently 16 years old, and uh, which means I'll be joining NS in approximately two years. So we are training them for the 2.4 kilometers run, the sit-ups and the push-ups. At first, uh, it was quite difficult doing keep-ups, push-ups, uh, running rounds, continuous rounds. Uh, I felt quite tired and well, now it's been a different journey for me altogether. It helps me keep, it helps me keep in shape and builds up my fitness. Up. Every week we have a training like uh, 45 minutes in Mondays and Wednesdays. Really, this training would help them to build their fitness and stamina and uh, total endurance. Having a bit of friendly competition always helps. It helps me push to the fullest and uh, make sure I achieve the best I can. Students will be equipped with mental agility, strength, stamina, fitness and above all confidence with the familiarity that they have gained even before entering IPPT. The trainings you do, everything is a memory. You have never done this before in your life, anything like this. So obviously it's going to be a very special memory. So our physical education department teachers have looked at the website, NS website, and gathered as many exercises and tips that they could have and built it into our pilot project. 
we are now going to use the results of this and build it into our existing physical education training. And it's definitely uh, seems to be a very good opportunity for our sons uh, to gain that kind of exposure and also serve uh, Singapore as a nation. I'm very thankful to GIS to give us parents this opportunity to understand how this process works and be ready to uh, encourage our children to enter this as well. We hope you enjoyed the video. We are actually really proud that our school is one of the few international schools that prepare the students for national service in this manner. We're confident that the students that undertake this pre-NS journey will be better prepared to face actual NS in the future. We wish them all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paras and Siddharth. This is the most insightful and encouraging presentation for us. I now invite our chairman and co-founder, Mr. Atul Termunikar, to deliver the welcome address. Sir, please. A very good morning to all of you. His Excellency Minister Ang Chi Meng, His Excellency Chavez Ashraf, dignitaries present here, board members, parents, teachers, and students who are our future leaders. Firstly, I must say that the NS journey was one of the most appreciated initiatives that many of the parents have begun to realize. From the days when we started the school, from where parents used to have apprehensions, to now we begin to see a lot of students join NS. And I was just sharing with Honorable Minister about the fact that the school today, more and more students and girls, uh, boys and girls, are actually beginning to go into Singapore universities, as the Singapore universities also are increasing their rankings worldwide. So that's, I think, very good to have. Today's celebrations are being watched live by hundreds of parents and students via YouTube Live and Facebook Live. Over 2,600 students, as we speak here, at this particular smart campus, are actually super excited. You know why? Because today they don't have a class. <laughs> they, have, they are actually watching in their classrooms, in the comfort of their classrooms, they're watching this entire telecast live. From Oman to China, from Japan to Saudi Arabia, from India to Vietnam, CEOs, directors, minister, senior bureaucrats, heads of education ministries, top finance executives have all made an unusual stop at this very, very remote school in Singapore called the GI Smart Campus. Having heard great things about this campus, they decided to visit the campus to see for themselves the scintillating bars that has been created right here the voices of which are beginning to go around the world and to be located in the upcoming Singapore's Pongal Digital District is an honor. A large Japanese delegation comprising of over 30 Japanese CEOs visited us two months back. They were visiting a Japanese delegation here and we are expecting a similar delegation of CEOs to visit us sometime in April. We also had a delegation of educationists from a country called Finland which is, as you know, is one of the top-ranking PISA countries in the world. And the educationists were here to study about what GIS initiatives were, because they heard about this in Finland. Even our own friends from EDB and many other uh, ministries here uh, have begun to use GIS campus as one of their own resources to hold some of their internal 
uh, growth strategy meetings, or even internal development workshops. Quite interestingly, I was forwarded a social media post by a Singapore resident who was advising her overseas friends on the social media that you must add a must-see destination in Singapore, and that was the GIS Smart Campus. We are truly humbled by these gestures, visits, and the collaborative spirit of the communities worldwide, and the support of the parents, students, and teachers. One thing that comes out of every single visit that we have from these overseas visitors is that everybody aspires us to have a similar campus in their home countries, and we will surely do our best we can to get the same campus there. So the question is, how did a school campus suddenly become a talk of the town in Singapore and must see destination for visitors? Well, the answer, simply put, was in the outcome of what came out. Firstly, the GI Smart Campus today is undoubtedly the most innovative campus in the world. And why we say that? Because we have been told about this by our visiting friends from the US. And secondly, it is also one of the largest smart campuses in the world with a built-up area that exceeds 560,000 square feet, a size so big that can easily qualify to be an university in many of the countries. As one of your colleagues, Mr. Charles Chong, the acting speaker of parliament, who once visited our campus in the GIS East Coast, he shared a thought and he said, I think GIS is a local international school which has imbibed many of the local traditions and cultures while extending international education to the expatriate families in Singapore. We are honored that for the past 17 years, GIS has been the consistent strong pillar for expatriate families, providing super quality, premium, and high quality education at a moderate fee point. And this has hugely benefited many of the families living here and who continue to live. Hats off to Pungal advisors, the members of parliament, the community centers, for the massive transformation of this compound called the Pungol, to the most sought after new town among all our young generations today. As we started this campus, we have seen at least a thousand families whose children attend their school have relocated to the Pungal campus and shifted their homes here. Some of, you, some of them even have bought properties around this area. So we thank the Pungal CC and the many neighborhood communities who have welcomed these families very warmly. Some of these new residents have not stopped complimenting about the very delicious food available in the nearby vicinities, including the Pongal Plaza, and including the food from Mala Hot Pot, Young Tafu, Duck Rice, and Chicken Rice. The GIS Spot Campus is a state-of-the-art school which is centered around innovation and 21st century learning skills. And it's a reflection of the visionary work, which in many years, which in many ways is years ahead of time thanks to many, more than 90 teachers who planned and designed this very campus and every square feet of the space, spending over 50,000 man hours together with the design teams and the project teams to have come up with this particular campus, which has rich elements of innovation and collaboration between students and has shaped this unique school. My friends ask us, how is the GI Smart Campus going to help their children prepare for the future? The GI Smart Campus places a premium on quality education, considering the skills required for the 21st century workspace. It combines modern teaching, enabled by frontier technologies, with holistic education approaches based on our nine gems. It's a model to expand the real world learning that involves competencies beyond the curriculum. A little bit about the nine gems model, which has become a cornerstone of all our GI's education. In 2014, the Institute of Directors presented an Innovation Award to GIS for the Nine Gems Framework. And this award was received in London by Her Excellency Ms. Theresa May, who was then the Home Secretary and is currently the Prime Minister of UK. The Nine Gems Model Framework is a framework that emphasizes an overall development of a child beyond academics and sports. The model encompasses of nine key areas which are essential for the well-rounded development of the child. These include academic excellence, sports excellence, creativity and innovation, entrepreneurship and leadership, personality development, skills development, visual and performing arts, community care, and universal values. The entire curriculum of GIS is centered around delivering these skills around these areas. During the different phases of student development, the nine gems model allows a student to develop skills 
at an age-appropriate trajectory, which means according to their age, in order to help them discover their strengths and improve on their skills gap. Benefiting from a uniquely student-centric environment, every GI student is equipped with the critical skills to embark a journey of lifelong learning with individual growth that will allow for constant renovation, reinvention in a disruptive world. Given the future ready skills, we have been providing skills on artificial intelligence, coding, robotics, and STEAM to prepare these students for 21st century, which will be a world of technology. The Smart Campus offers a unique blend of infrastructure and technology to nurture the 21st century skills of communication, critical thinking, collaboration, and creativity. The real benefits to the students are delivered by GIS constantly as it strives to establish new standards in the delivery of education through interactivity and collaboration between teachers and students and their parents by using innovative technologies. GIS intends to become a major disruptor in the education space. The Smart Campus is an example of that, which empowers students to become the next generation learners. The teaching of 21st century skills through as many as 42 skill studios, which are almost half the size of the classrooms or half the size of the school. And these future skill studios include things like robotics studio, radio station, TV station, culinary studio, environment studio, maker and innovation studio, visual arts studio, ceramic design studio, language studios, performing arts studios, digital graphic design studios, piano, studio, keyboard studios, dance and music studios, and yoga studios, all amalgamating into a great combination of futuristic learning and sharpening the inherent skills to make the students well-rounded individuals. The campus also features data analytics in a big way, not just in academics, but also in sports, having implemented the sports performance enhance, enhancing data analytics system, or in short, SPEDAS, the, the students it allows capturing of on-field performance data analytics through digital technologies and providing on-the-fly analytics for improving the sports. Similar technologies are being used by the likes of NBA teams like LA Lakers in the US, and we are happy that we are one of the first schools in Asia to have introduced the same technology at a school level. In addition to that, we have a digital learning environment which has uh, about 180 interactive displays, as you've seen earlier in the initial AVs, which allow the teachers to have a very, very collaborative and uh, interactive classroom experience with the help of document cameras, iPads, and virtual conferencing. The idea of collaborative learning is further strengthened by the use of flip, flipped classrooms. As many as half the classrooms of the school actually have a wall between, a foldable partition walls between each classroom. And these walls can be then opened up and classrooms can have a lot of neighborly interactions and activities put together without actually going outside the space of the classrooms. Creativity and innovation through graphic design studios, visual art studios, ceramic studios, and maker studios. It also has, the school also offers programs like entrepreneurship and leadership boot camps in assistance with the INSEAD faculty faculty here in Singapore to help the students hone their well-rounded individual skills as an, to, to have an edge over the competition. The personality development through speech and drama, language studios, and recording studios add an additional flavor to their performance skills. Performing art skills through band, music, keyboard, piano, and dance, in addition to fitness skills through yoga and various sports activities. By offering a truly international curricula at a single campus, students have a choice between International Baccalaureate, Cambridge IGCSE, and Indian CBSE programs. Extending the high quality education to over 20,000 students across 23 campuses in seven countries in Asia and Middle East, GIS has produced excellent results year on year with over 13 of our GIS students who have topped worldwide IB exams over the last few years and over near nearly 18 students have topped with the near-perfect scores uh, in the international baccalaureate programs, including the CBSE curriculums, which is the national curriculum of India. Uh, one of our students was the Asia and Middle East topper uh, in 2016 uh, in the CBSE exams. So GIS has a global audience of coming from 42 nationalities 
and currently enroll in our IB and our GCSE curricula. This year, we introduced an international curricula through the help, for the help of the primary years, allowing students to have a total international curriculum experience right from grade one to grade 12. The GI Smart Campus has worked on digital solutions that have helped us to improve our productivity and efficiency of our workforce, not just in Singapore, but in other countries as well. Some of these were facilitated with research grants from the IRA Singapore, and many of these are setting new trends in the education sector, from facial recognition in every classroom for attendance and access controls, to online answer sheet evaluations, digital bus terminal, sports data analytics for basketball, to having single largest installation of digital lockers, almost 6,000 lockers in this particular campus, giving every student an access to a locker in the classroom, as well as a locker outside the classroom for their sports fitness equipment, et cetera. But what we really believe is that what sets the GIS campus set apart is the fact that innovation takes a center stage in the school, significantly enhancing the experiential learning for the students. The smart campus has provided 16 innovation labs and very elegantly integrated the innovation along with modern and advanced classroom techniques and learning methods, significantly enhancing the student learning outcomes. In addition to that, 12 learning commons, as what we call as classroom without borders, have been specially designed for informal learning to, de to allow students to de-stress in those areas and to have teachers, you know, very unique classes outside the experience of their classrooms. And such spaces allow children to learn at their own pace and to drive their own learning process. The use of data analytics in the school has been there for a long time, but now it is also becoming a uniquely forward-thinking concept where progress in sports and academics is measured year on year giving students and their parents a very important input as far as improvements are concerned. For safety, we have even gone beyond the boundaries of our campus and invested at the school's expense in a traffic light just outside the Waterwoods condo for safer crossing of our students uh, at, the, at the main traffic junctions, as well as expanding the uh, pedestrian walkways just outside on the Pungur Field Walk to allow the children and their parents to walk safely to the school and even installing anti-snake perimeter fence to ensure that we don't have unwanted visitors and to increase the safety of our children. The campus, already a green mark gold campus, has made, maintains a sustainable carbon footprint and has reduced energy consumption by over 20% by making clever use of motion sensors, building management systems to use to cleverly save on the electricity, rainwater, and uh, has also used rainwater retention tanks uh, smart coolers that use water but give the cooling effect of air cons, and it's a technology developed by A-Star in Singapore, and then smart hand wash techniques which allow many innovative ideas for the students in the campus. Above all, the GIS offers a premium quality of holistic education through the Nine Gems framework at a very moderate fee point, which is much lower than other international schools by almost 30 to 40%. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my leadership and teams for helping us to win over 112 Education Excellence Awards from world's leading education excellence agencies, such as the Asia Pacific Quality Organization, the RBNQA, the Institute of Directors, Singapore Spring, the Malaysian MPC, Malaysia Productivity Council, and many others to ensure that we always bring in the best practices in our education frameworks. In far as the community programs are concerned, every year GIS has supported various community centers across Singapore towards the National Day celebrations, the Chinese New Year celebrations, and, and this has greatly benefited, been appreciated by all. The free yoga program that we offer at each GIS campus to all our nearby neighborhood residents has been a major hit. Till date, since we started, our schools have provided free yoga programs to over 7,000 Singaporeans over the last few years, and the neighborhood residents as well, who have greater, greatly benefited from the various health fitness programs. GIS always believes, as you can see from the previous messages, in local integration, and has lent a strong hand for the national integration. GIS was prominently featured at a case study done by Ministry of Education on national integration, and it was in 2011. In, in the next few years, GIS also played an important role in the National Integration Council, or NIC, for a subgroup of schools 
to foster national integration across schooling and youth communities. Hundreds of students from GIS has gone on to serve the national service. In 2017, GIS was awarded the Total Defense Award by the Ministry of Defense in Singapore, a new initiative to provide physical education and mental training to students, as we saw on the video earlier, who are present permanent residents and will be soon joining the national service is another example of GIS's contribution to the nation building. <laughs> Suffice to say, the GIS Smart Campus is truly a school of the future and designed for new age future learning skills so that the students will be able to expand to the horizons of their minds and be innovative, be entrepreneurial, be creative, and think out of the box and develop into world-rounded global leaders who will go on to contribute towards the success and prosperity of Singapore and many of the countries they want to go and live in. I'm confident that GIS campus will also set new standards of 21st century learning skills, not just for Asia, but also across the world. Finally, I would like to extend our heartful thanks to the many, many people who work to make sure this smart campus becomes a very, very loving campus. A big thank you to all our team of architects from USA, from Japan, from Australia, from Malaysia, from Singapore, and the entire team of consultants in Singapore who actually helped us shape our vision and turn this dream into a reality. A big applause to the leadership teams from our ministries, such as URA, BCA, LTA, SCDF, NPARCS, PUB, EDB, and CPE for their unstated support to GIS and guiding us to establish this one-of-a-kind smart campus. Also, a big credit goes to our various embassies and consulates, including the Indian High Commission, for their continued support and their guidance. A big pat on the back to our bankers, DBS Bank, who stood behind us firmly to ensure that we come up with this campus in a very, very successful way. A big thank you to our media from Singapore and ASEAN countries and Southeast Asia, and some of you are, who are already placed here uh, have visited and are present here today with us to have clearly articulated our efforts in charting new frontiers in education. Finally, a big kudos to all the concern from the Pungal Community Center, the IECs, the People's Association, as we continue our association and join, hand, join hands with them in many ways for the future community initiatives. Thank you once again to everyone for being here and joining us for the celebration. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now invite our special guest, the High Commissioner of India to Singapore, His Excellency, Mr. Javed Ashraf, to come on stage to address this gathering. Good morning, everyone. Mr. Eng Chi Eng, Minister, Prime Minister's office. Uh, your presence here is not just an honor because of the position that you hold, but because also it's an inspiration uh, to the students who would be learning a great deal from your own life's journey. Mr. Atul Termunikar, Chairman, to the GIS family of parents, teachers, and students, to the members of the board, the principal, and the leadership of the school, um, it's a great pleasure to be here in a smart auditorium of a smart campus, of a smart nation, in the smart century. And um, it is an occasion that I think uh, it will be remembered as a milestone in school. First of all, I'd like to also join you in applauding a wonderful performance by students uh, that we witnessed this morning. Once again, a reflection of the The, the extraordinary skills and talent uh, that we see in the school over here. I have been in this campus before, and I have uh, been around, seen different parts of the campus. It is, there are five things that strike me as, as extremely important and that hit out at you. First is that it is architecturally brilliant. It is a massive campus that looks small, 
There is no part of this campus that feels remote or distant. There is this intimate connection between all sections uh, of this wonderful building. And that is important, and it is shaped like a nest that nurtures the students to be the leaders of tomorrow. So it's architecturally brilliant. Second, of course, as we've just seen, that it is technologically absolutely the state of the art. There is nothing that you can imagine in today's world of technology and a rapidly changing world at that, that the school doesn't provide to students. You're truly, truly blessed to be able to start your journey in this life with this kind of uh, experience and exposure. The third is that despite being in a sense, very high on emphasis on technology. It's a campus which in its structure and in its curriculum has fostered a sense of human interaction and teamwork. This is very important because you can either rely entirely on technology and therefore become isolated or foster a sense of teamwork and human interaction. And if you go around the campus, you get the feeling that you are not walking through long corridors, but through spaces that immediately foster and nurture the kind of interaction, not just between students, but also in a non-hierarchical manner between students and teachers that is so important uh, for a school. So the fourth thing is that it isn't just about learning. It is also a campus that fosters a spirit of innovation, creativity, imagination, in teamwork. All of these are extremely important for people and for students to perform well and successfully as not just professionally, but also as members of society. And the fifth and a very important thing is that it is an embodiment and a tribute to the passion for education and the obsession with excellence and the emphasis on teamwork that is really the character of the chairman, Atul Termunika, and the board, so congratulations to you. In everything, it is the attention to details that matters. You can, you can make, you can design a grand vision, but it is also the difference between quality and lack of it is the attention to detail and the consistency with which you deliver it. And I see this even in the desks in the classroom and the school, even in the ammonia sensors in the toilets that, that send an SMS to the cleaner. It is this kind of attention to detail. And it is these qualities, this passion for education, obsession with excellence, it is the emphasis on teamwork and the attention to details that is also at the heart of Singapore's success as a nation. And it is this spirit that I see completely integrated into the school, and which is why this GIIS may be a global school and an international school and an Indian school, but it is truly Singaporean at its heart. It is also an astonishing journey, a journey that started in 2002, and it now has 11 schools in India, 12 schools across seven countries, 20,000 students. So it is also, to me, a globalizing face of India. At one level, the school is what India wants it to be connected to the local community, culturally integrated, socially responsible, environmentally conscious. And everything that you've heard from Mr. Temunikar and the students before tell you that the school embodies these four principles when it comes to its role in Singapore's own journey and its own story. But it is also a school that I've seen so emotionally and physically, in a sense, connected to India as well. It's the, where its heritage comes from. It isn't just about yoga and the cultural performances. It is also about the issues in India, the challenges, the opportunities that is driving a country of 1.3 billion people that are also close to the heart of the students here. I've seen them perform something on a Clean India campaign over here, not just do excellent demonstration of Indian classical art and dances and performances. So this is what is the world of the future. You can be part of a globally integrated, technologically networked society, but you can also be part of your local community, but also connected to your heritage. These are values that India and Singapore also embody, and this is a value that is synthesized in, in, in global India International School. 
So let me just say that for all its innovation, for all the brilliance of its campus, yes, it is producing students that are totally equipped to deal with the opportunities and challenges of 21st century, not just in terms of its technological skills, but also with all those attributes, all those attributes that since the beginning of mankind is in been important for leadership, to be a force of good, and to be a force of change in society for three millennia, four millennia, and it'll continue to be so. Those are the leadership skills, the values that GIS has laid strong emphasis on, and this has been my experience over the past two years that I've been here. So, and I can only congratulate the students and the parents for being part of this extraordinary experience, and I have no doubt in my mind that when they step out of the doors of this school, they come out as, as young men and women prepared not just to deal with the technological marvels of this century, but also with all those attributes and skills that are needed to be, as I said, the force of God, the agent of change, and of leaders of tomorrow. And for me, I'd only say one last bit of advice. For all those of us who are trying to catch up with 21st century, maybe even we can have classes in all those wonderful technologies that you have brought in here. Thank you very much, and all the best for a great journey ahead. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, now the time has come to commence our main event of the day. May we, may we request our guest of honor and our chairman, Mr. Temurnika, to come on stage for the official opening. we've waited for. We request the guest of honor to place his hand on the crystal ball at the end of the countdown to officially open the campus. Let us all join in on the countdown. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Request our guest of honor to kindly address the gathering. The last time I opened a school, I was still the education minister. <laughs> but regardless of what is my portfolio, it brings so much joy to see kids benefiting in the modern pedagogies of education. So it is with delight that I'm joining you this morning. A very good morning to Your Excellency, Mr. Jawa Ashraf, High Commissioner, Mr. Atul Tamanaka, Chairman, Global Indian, Indian, Global Indian International School, Mr. Ko Jay Meng, Chairman, Pongo North CCC, friends, teachers, students. I am truly delighted to join you this morning in the official opening of the Global Indian International School, especially on the auspicious day today of the Chinese New Year. So, with our Chinese brothers and sisters, 
，祝大家新年快乐，万事如意。更重要的，如果学生们听得懂的话，学业进步。Well, I just wish all the students good progress in education. So I think Chinese may not be the second language here. And to my Malay brothers and sisters, Selamat Tahun Baru China. And to our Indian brothers and sisters in Tamil, Putthanda Vatika Sina. And now I venture to where no man has ventured before, at least a Chinese man, in Hindi. <laughs> Naya Sa'al Mubara. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm truly delighted to join all of you because the very thing that you bring into Pongo is the dynamism. Not just of all the things I heard my friend Artu say about the smart campus. Of course, that is an important element of education and it brings dynamism into this growing smart town of Pongo. But more importantly, when I saw the performances, whether it was the dance by the girls or the choir singing Singapore home, it brings the warmth of the heart, not just of the technologies, not just of the education of the head, but importantly, the values that your school brings into the community. So we welcome you into Pongo Town, and I'm sure we will have many, many wonderful days of coming together to enrich each other in our learning journeys, together as a school, as a community. And being a former education minister, well, when I look at your central theme of teaching, of the 21st century skill, learning skills and innovation, I must congratulate you that you are on the right track. I think every student here in GIIS will have the opportunity to utilize the wonderful facilities on your learning journey, not just in the classroom, but more importantly, the experiential learning journey that affords you in your campus and in Pongo Town. And while the smart campus will give you many, many advantages in learning about the technological uh, augmentation to education, more importantly, if I can encourage all the students and the parents to go beyond the campus and apply your learning in our little island called Singapore. The essence of learning, in my view, for the new world goes beyond the classroom. And for all our international friends, you have the distinct advantage of being in a cosmopolitan city that is thriving in the heart of ASEAN. A growth region, a potential growth engine in the next 10, 20, 30 years. After all, ASEAN has a population of 630 million or so. Slightly less than India, slightly less than China, but nevertheless, more than half a billion, where you can use Singapore and the things you learn in Singapore in the classroom and outside of the classroom to make the best advantages that you can have with education here in Singapore. Go out of the school campus, go into Singapore society and see for yourself, feel for yourselves what makes Singapore this unique island of success in the last 50 years. And for my fellow citizens, do likewise. No matter whether you are 40, 50, 60, let's continue on this learning journey together with our younger friends, mostly from India. Why do I say this? If you look at the key ingredients of Singapore's success, as my friend, the High Commission, have said, there is detailed planning, yet with a vision for the future. As the fourth generation leaders, we will continue on this planning to make sure 
that Singapore has a strong, robust economy, strong security, yet weaved in together as a society to have the social compact that ensures that when Singapore succeeds, every Singaporean shares in the success. These three elements will drive a successful vision ahead for Singapore. Why? Because then, the institutions will be directed with a guidance to ensure that whether it is the economic agencies, their planning will ensure that Singapore, with the opportunities afforded to us by the technological disruptions, will be able to overcome challenges, seize opportunities, and ensure that the macro economy can grow and afford the resources for Singapore to pursue our own interests and the interests of our citizens. This institution we have in the MAS, we have in the MTI. Equally important, this institution that brings security, called the SAF, called the Home Team, will be needed likewise to ensure that from the home base of Singapore, we have a safe and, so safe and secure society where our young can roam the streets of Pongo at 3 a.m without having fear for our personal security. And with a strong SAF, always ensuring that our national security and our sovereignty will be protected, come what may. With this strong economy and the ability to fend for ourselves, we can create the society we want as Singaporeans. Ensuring that in every of our success, we leave no Singaporean behind. Continuing our vision of a social compact that regardless of race, language or religion, we will build a Singapore that embraces each Singaporean. So if you look at this important aspect of strong institutions, whether it is in the civil service or whether it is in the economy, we have, we have companies, this will create, these strong institutions will create the overall environment that will continue to create a strong in, and conducive investment climate to bring investments, to bring friends into Singapore, augmenting all aspects of our endeavours, whether it is the economy or in the area of security. A strong SAF is needed, and my retired colleague from the Indian Army just now was just recounting to me that he served in the northern parts of India, where I went as well, where our Singapore Army deploys to India to conduct joint exercises, where our Air Force deploys to Kalakunda for joint exercises, where our Navy, I'm told, will continue to exercise in June in the Adaman Seas to promote mutual defence interests to augment the overall security of Singapore. So, in strong institutions, critical. With the strong institutions, we provide the investment climates for a strong economy. And importantly, a school like GIIS, and together with MOE, where we continue on these new pedagogies for the future, we will drive the innovation index of Singapore up further. You know, Singaporeans of my age are not known to be very creative. But in our little Singapore, actually, each generation of Singaporean, and each generation meaning 10 years or so, 40 years old, 30 years old, and coming to 20 years old, each 10 years of new badges of Singaporean are more innovative, more entrepreneurial, and more creative than the previous one. And if we put on the lenses of commitment to education, in the drive towards a smart nation, I'm confident that with the younger ones, together with the experience of the older ones, we can seize the opportunities that avails to Singapore and Singaporeans, given the technological disruptions. Critical. So, let me congratulate GIIS, not just for your smart campus, but also in the many initiatives that you involve yourselves in the community. Because, after all, no matter how smart 
how intelligent a person is, ultimately, in my view, the values that drive us to do things are the most important. So I welcome all the students that are living in our community, come participate in our grassroots, come join our different activities, and know also firsthand how a country like ours, where we have a majority of Chinese, a minority of Malays, Indians and Eurasians have come together over 50 plus years to forge an unlikely nation. As a state, yes, by a legal definition, we have become Singapore in 1965. But to forge a nation where an Indian no longer just thinks of being an Indian Singaporean, but now a Singaporean Indian or a Chinese like me, where my father thinks of himself as a Chinese Singaporean to a generation like mine, where we think of being Singaporean Chinese, means that we are on the journey of forging national identity and a sense of together togetherness as Singaporeans first. While, of course, treasuring our heritage, whether it is to the archipelago, uh, neighbouring countries, to India, to China, to faraway lands. Singapore is unique. And may your smart campus bring you to new heights of learning in the classroom, and may you use Singapore, treasure what you have here and know the system. And in time to come, when you succeed in your young lives as entrepreneurs, as scientists, as teachers, whatever, wherever you may be, have that place in your heart to know that Singapore is a friend of yours personally and that Singapore treasures our relationships with India and we hope to always come together in partnership to create mutual win-wins for both our countries, for our citizens and to all of you. Thank you very much and congratulations on your official opening. Thank you, sir. Requesting Mr. Atul Tembernikar to come up on stage. Sir, we would request you to felicitate our guest of honor. Requesting our chairman to also extend our appreciation for His Excellency, Mr. Javed Ashraf.
Thank you, sir. This campus is a jewel in the crown of the Global Schools Foundation. It has many skill-based labs that take our holistic framework of education to a whole new level. Please take a look at some of the exceptional facilities this campus offers us for our development into well-rounded individuals. The Culinary Lab is another such skill based studio design to teach students a new skill, the art of cooking. The lab is equipped with modern kitchen equipment which are safe, including an electric cooking stove, microwave oven, refrigerator and non-stick utensils. We get trained by experts in a number of culinary skills like cooking without fire, proper use of kitchen utensils, basics of cooking, etc. Chefs in the canteen give us hands-on training on the various skills required to be a good cook, like the use of knives, temperature of the stove, proper shapes of utensils, and wet and dry cooking. Experimenting with different ingredients in the kitchen has allowed us to develop an innovative approach to cooking. First, with basic cooking skills are encouraged to be entrepreneurial by setting up stalls at events and sell their produce. As the world descends into a new age, Artificial intelligence plays a quintessential role in developing and modeling our future. As my first project, I identified a potential opportunity in our own GIIS website. I felt that the user experience could be enhanced by allowing the user to interact with the website through a chatbot. I developed a chatbot to assist me in doing so. The functioning of the chatbot can be seen here. It has been programmed by using ChatFuel. Here, I have customized the chatbot to respond to the basic queries a user may have regarding the school. Using AI setup, we can see how the chatbot responds to user-specific queries. Similarly, even if we spell a word wrong, the chatbot can still understand it clearly emphasizing the power of AI. Another such example can be seen here where the chatbot replies to the queries of users regarding the fee structure by providing a fee breakup for the primary section of our school. This is just a sample of what AI is capable of doing. GIIS through boot camps such as this has empowered me and numerous other students to become successfully equipped with skills needed in the making of leading innovators and entrepreneurs. The diversity of Singapore cannot be complete without a tribute to our roots. Our final presentation of the day is a classical Indian dance called the Odissi, native to the state of Odisha. Tak kya dali ke nita, se na kya se nita, tak kya dali ke nita, se na kya se nita, tak kya dali ke nita, se na kya se nita, tak kya dali ke nita, se na kya se nita, tak kya dali ke nita, se na kya se nita, tak kya
Thank you, friends, for that spectacular performance. With this, we have come to the end of the event today, Re requesting the rest of the performers to come up on stage for a group photograph. Our guest of honor, Mr. Ang, His Excellency Mr. Javed, Mr. Atul Tarmunikar, Mr. Kausto Bodankar, Mr. Rajiv Katyal, Principal Ms. Melissa Maria, and Vice Principal Ms. Rekha Varghese to join us on stage for the group photograph.
Thank you, sir. Requesting you to kindly oblige us with the Wi-Fi. Thank you, sirs, for the photograph. With this, we have come to the end of our event today. Thank you to the guest of honor for coming here to grace the occasion of the opening of our new smart campus. We are extremely thankful to you for giving us your immensely valuable time. I also take this opportunity to thank the Fungol North CC for their guidance and continued support, as well as the grassroots leaders who joined us. I would also like to thank the GSF board members who joined in the celebrations. I thank GIS parents who joined us for the official opening. Last but not the least, we thank our dear teachers, staff, and members of the management team for organizing this event. Thank you all once again. Let us show our appreciation with a huge round of applause.